All right, welcome back, everyone, to more Pools of Darkness. We are here at the Gossamer, the Gossamer walls of a forest village that beckon to us. Honestly, not a whole lot to do here. Really just some battles. Really not even worth coming here, to be honest, but. This is another place you can come to to pick up a different character. We got fucking ambushed. I'm about to just re fucking load this goddamn gay bullshit. Yeah, I'm not playing around now. I was going to do lightning bolt, but fuck you. Somehow, somehow 70 didn't do the job. Got that spell too, buddy. Your lucky mon sucks. Well, we can still pull this off. <laughs> oh, you fucking cocksucker.
Oh, thank you for bandaging number two there. I figured we'd be able to get her to run by killing enough people. Uh, well, it's definitely time to uh, leave and try to rest after that. There was some ring of protections plus one we could have taken, but we don't really, really need that shit. All right, I thought we could rest here. Guess not. Of course we investigate. Fidget enters the web, disappears, and moments later cries out. You rush in and encounter spiders! <laughs> fucking hate spiders! Alright, we need to find a place to rest. Some magic javelins and... I don't even know if this cloak is magical. I believe the arrows are plus three, which is nice. really not much else to do there you can find like I was saying you can find uh, another character named Velardis who gets you into the testing grounds but he's actually the one that's trying to assassinate uh, Denia's 
uh, Sun, Hearn. So it's just a set, it's just a different way of getting into the testing grounds. But besides that, there's not much else to do there. So you can try to rest on the road, that's pretty much it. And that's the shit that happens when body starts slapping. Looks like we just have some electric spiders. Ah, I thought that was a little bit too uh, small amount of them. We gotta get that rest off. It's a big rest to get all those spells back. But we managed, so we'll go ahead and save on D. Let's head to another location. And we enter the stockade. Okay, we're actually here in the stockade just for one pickup. You surprise the resting dwarf. He grunts, Be your foe, make it quick, death. I curse Callistus and all who entertain her plans. Well, we greet him. He relaxes, glad to be among friends. I am Storm Hongrim, recently destined for Callistus' order. He explains, It's recorded in journal entry 30 fucking 5. When the cities disappeared and the world grew dark, we were all frightened and clung together for comfort. It was not enough to save us. By ones and twos and sometimes whole fucking families, we began to disappear, taken as slaves by the drow. My sister was captured. She's a child, just a child. I followed the slave train and crept her into her pen to try to release her, but I was captured as well. The drow took us to their slave pens, and from there my sister and I were taken along with many others toward a hall. Behind me, I heard Keeney intermingled with shouts of great joy. I had heard from an old human woman that some of us would be called from the group and killed to make an evil potion. I cursed such a fate, but I prayed that for my sister's sake, the end would be swift. Instead, we were led through the temple, and half of us were pushed through the door while the rest of us driven through the dimensional pool onto this world of webs. The drow overseer jeered at us. Lucky, lucky, luckiest of all, he said. You'll serve the great Callistus herself will be served to her, depending on what tasty morsels you are. I could not bear this thought. I watched for my opportunity and escaped the slave.
the slave train. But I was not able to bring my sister with me. Take me with you. I'll help you fight Callistus. Anything to save Arta. This is Arta! Callistus has a taste for dwarves such as my sister and I. We were put on a slave train and only by luck did I escape. My sister remains behind. Alright, we let Storm join. He's a badass little fighter dwarf. We'll topple Callistus together. And now there is a ray of hope for Arta! He kicks you down a fucking well. Play male helm, battle axe, some bolts, some good strength, some good con, some good AC. We're good to go. He's only 25 years old. He's a young dwarf. Battle begins. I didn't think we'd get out of here without a little bit of some sum. There is a storm there with his little cool dwarfly dwarf dwarf shit. <coughs> Boom shagalaoke! Ouch! Still gotta get a weapon for this poor soul. Iron Golems might be a different fucking story. Make sure everyone's doing okay there. Fidget is not doing okay. Got five hit points. Not me to run away like a dingleberry. <laughs> Gotta love having a shitload of heels on hand. Yeah, take all that shit there, buddy. We don't mind. Yep, nothing else of value there for us, unfortunately.
Oh, he's got the light crossbow. Well, he doesn't need all this shit. That's just going to weigh him down. All right, moving right along. Oh, these fucking pets. Got three delayed fireballs now. Is it fucking one of them? Here I come! <laughs> Fucking cocksucking spiders. Alright, made it across the bridge this time. I did get into a fight, but they were just enormous spiders. So it wasn't as bad. And we're at the parlor of Kalista, but first we're gonna head south. Mm, they sense the war and do not attack. There's some more. We're looking for a specific uh, set of rune, runes down here, but... Once again, there are enormous spiders. Swack, swack. These things can still kill us, don't forget. Instant death poison, which is never fun. <laughs> Tree slouch under dark, heavy webs. You glimpse to the ruined city. Let's see what there is to do here. Well, this area is dumb and useless. No awesome magic here. They really kind of failed on giving you any good magic. You hear hoofbeats. A fool teaches a smart dog to play dumb. The drider gallops off before you can make any response. Now, there's a few other encounters. There is... Some javelins plus two, some elven chain plus three, and that's it.
Other than that, pretty much a complete waste of time. I should have just went right to the fucking castle. And if I have to reload and do so, I will. No clue where the drow are here. I'm not making use of my next key. There's no drow on this fucking board. Normally they point you in the direction of the enemy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you. Pointed in the wrong goddamn direction, you dipshit. Bye-bye, bitch. <laughs> Range is different on this overworld. It's like 10, 10, 10 feet squares instead of 5 foot squares. That backstab, baby. As long as we got someone adjacent to him on the other side, we're good. We have to go to the village first before we can get into Kalista's parlor. So let's go ahead and travel into the village, which looks like every other fucking place here. So there's really nothing to do here except head directly into the parlor. Oh, of course, they had to hit us up with the battle right before we got there, which is a pain in the ass. I might just run the fuck out of here. <sighs> Look at this mess. Whoops! <laughs> I did not mean to nail. Uh, poor Bridget. Uh, 
Got my fireballs grew. Yeah, that doesn't do shit now. God, get the fucking wizard out of the way. Oh, goodness. Should be some good XP, I hope. No. Better slip by because I'll be fucking reloading, buddy. You gotta slip into this parlor without getting fucked. God damn it! Leave me alone! Try not to try to get in here without wasting all my fireballs.
Kill them all! Just disintegrated my dwarf, you fucking cocksucking bitch! Fuck you! Can he make it? An unbroken wall of gossamer comes into view. This is the Cleistus parlor. You spot Locust ahead of you, just now reaching the wall. Her drider mount is flighty, as is her escort. It's recorded in General Entry 14. Now remember, we stole this bitch's ward. Locast gives a great cry in the party halts before what appears to be an unbroken wall of tightly packed gossamer. It shimmers in the pale light. Locast's mount rises up on its four legs and waves the others, both drow and spider about. Its face, a mask of fear. Locast drives it down with a word. Even from a distance, her jaw appears set and her eyes burn fiercely. She waves back her escort, many of whom take the opportunity to simply turn around and ride away. She holds up both hands, palms out, and waits. After a breathless eternity, the gossamer wall erupts. Spiders of all shapes and sizes squeeze their way through or leap off the top or pop up through trap doors and scuttle toward her. Her escort turns and runs, but Locast waits. Two pets appear among the spiders and approach. Locast in a slow, almost stately sidelong march, tossing aside the unlucky spiders that get in their way. They stop in front of Locast. They sway back and forth, legs waving about, thousands of eyes glittering. Then they turn and disappear back into the wall. Locast clenches her raised hands in a fist and screams as the rest of the spiders continue their advance. And devour that stanky, skanky bitch. Spiders erupt from the interior. Some boil over the wall to cut off retreat. You watch in horror as Locast is devoured alive. And then when we try to enter, green spiders scurry forward. But they shy away from the ward of safe fucking passage. You are in the foyer of Callistus's parlor. Pets scuttle about, but the ward keeps you safe. You are a fucking badass. All right, let's tear this place up. We're going to try to do as much of it as possible. It's going to be a lot of battles that we've already done, of course. Or actually, let's see. We can go, maybe we can go right to the source here. I mean, why dilly-dally, right? Let's see what happens. Spider smell is strong. It comes from a chute opening at your feet. Pets swarm up the chute, but sense the ward and do not attack. A hot brazier stands in the center of the room. Branding irons racked beside it. I guess they attack anyways. Clots on affected, so eat it. No! You shouldn't be allowed to attack them anytime, you fucking cheater. Alright, we really don't want to go that way anyways, because then we wouldn't be helping out Storm here. We gotta find his sister. Oh, my bad. Had the camera paused. Anyways, cleared this room of uh, baddies here, and we can safely rest in here now. You see a room filled with scrolls. Magic is strong. Perhaps there's some spells here you can use. Perhaps.
It's a potion of haste. We're going to probably be casting some haste on the final battle. No biggie. That's to be expected. See a room filled with books. One lies open. The word Merilith catches your eyes as you read. It's recorded in Journal Entry 48. Merilith have but one fatal flaw, one chink in their armor. The drive to preserve their children is greater than to preserve their individual lives. As a lone Merilith is often the key strategist in campaign, killing him or her is often all that is necessary to deal a crushing blow to your enemies. Therefore, search for the children, threaten them, and the parent you seek will come. Kalista is a Merilith, and thus we, uh, we need to smash her eggs. A squad of dickheaded drow attack. God damn it. Jesus fucking age Christ, dude. Don't piss me off, bro. I don't bandage my bitch up. No, I don't need it. Stiff drow. Not the good kind of stiff draw either. <laughs> oh, there's going to be lots of battles here to get to where we need to go, folks. Nah, no spell for thee. Oh, you're getting fucked, buddy. Right in the boomstick. to cast two spells in a row. That's that greedy shit. Fucking unreal how much goddamn shit attacks you down here. Alright, that was a waste of shit.
Oh, that's right. I don't even have it. Fuck you. We got to at least get close to our destination here. I don't know if it's possible, though. It seems like this is completely rigged right now. And honestly, I'm just going to keep dropping fucking bombs on these assholes. This bitch is surrounded! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, this is fucking annoying, man. <laughs> wow. I just fucked you guys up good. Fuck it, let's try this fucking spell. Oh, you in trouble, buddy. Yeah. You see a web draped room.
A drow servant is busy within. He sees you, but does not call to the guards. You wish to kill Calisius? I can help. He beckons you forward, pointing to a table. A basin rests there, filled with a still black liquid. It's a scrying mirror. It can show you much. You bend over it and peer into the depths. It's recorded in journal entry 2. The temptation is powerful, the flat, smooth surface of the mirror seductive in its plainness. Slowly, slowly, color blooms in its depths. A face emerges from the depths so clear and close. Those foolish drow, how could they have botched matters to this extent? Mortals loose in my webland. She uncoils an impossibly ebony length of smooth, gleaming body. Scales wink like gems. She slithers past a corpse on the floor, unlucky messenger, and comes around to the side of her chair. A quick press of fingers against the arm and a drawer pops open. She takes a key on a fine silver chain and loops it around her neck. I'm going down to the treasure room. I'm not to be disturbed for any reason. Leave the spare key where it is or you'll end up a contemptuous nod toward the body like him. The mirror darkens and the slave nods. That's it then. Find the key, go down to the treasure room and kill her. He looks odd, fidgety. Finally he burst out. And die! She knows you're here, so go down through the kitchen to the larder. That's best. All right, let's find this treasure room. You look about, the room is just as you saw, it's in the basin. It is a simple matter to get the key. Well, I guess we got the key. But lots of fucking cock sucking drow battles. That's probably a bad idea to run there. Wow, man. It's fucking relentless down here. And I will throw another one.
They are scared. You have just enough time to appreciate the beautiful weapons hanging from the walls when driders and spiders appear. Oh my. What's this behind a hanging drape as a door securely magic shut? You try the door and take out the key and it works and you take stairs leading down. You end your descent, which has led you into brightness. You look about the room filled with golden gems. You have to wonder about who guards it. Driders, you should have known they'd come here to fuck your day up. Ah, oh, you could have got one, you fucking cocksucker. this fucking rider out of my face.
Oh, you son of a bitch. Hopefully there's another place to rest down here as well. Fuck you, your whole person, dude. Twenty thousand. And we got some stuff here to take. Two handed swords, tridents, <laughs> a magical hammer for a clot finally. Bless me. <laughs> we'll go ahead and save as E. That's it for this video, but let's go ahead and get Hot's oh, little 1D4 plus 6 hammer on there. Do a little bit of damage. Two handed swords, too much of a sacrifice to give up with our shields. The scimitar is plus three, the trident's plus four, but that's also two handed. So really the only thing of use here is that hammer. Let's see what else we can find down here in the next video. And we will probably be doing Kalista's battle, I would say for sure in the next video. So get ready to destroy God number two. See you soon.